former executive here present, the outgoing executive, the incoming executive, students of Gambia College. I say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. I take this singular honor to address you on this occasion when the mantle of the union leadership is changing hands and uh, a lot of expectations would be coming as far as the new executive is concerned. To the students, I say this is an opportunity to change the narrative of student unionism in this college. We have a membership of close to 10,000 students and we hardly have this hall full whenever union activity takes place. This does not encourage the leadership of this union because they are here to serve you. So if you are to be served, then you must answer to the call of the leadership whenever they do. You must know that this union is very, very important in the lives of you as students of this college and even in your lives after leaving school. Because the decisions that we take as administrators may or may not be influenced by the leadership of the student union. And if they do not have your backing, it becomes very difficult for them to know your concerns and raise them. So they are the interface, your relation between you, the body, and us, the administrators. They would know your problems only if you answer their call attend meetings like congresses and discuss issues that the outgoing president and her executive members good afternoon to the incoming executive and those people in the high table good afternoon to all the students here gathered my words of wisdom are patient to the incoming executive and I repeat, patience. And I say it again, for those who don't hear, patience. If you are leading students, one of the criteria that you should have as a leader is to exercise patience. Because we all know leading students is one of the most stressful things that one can ever do. If you are educated, you are under scrutiny. They are always on you. Even if they are there, they feel that it's you who is responsible. So that's why you should exercise maximum patience. It's not easy to be a leader. Because once you are a leader, you are under attention. So this is why if someone is a leader also, you should exhibit good luck. You should exhibit patience. You should be humble. You should be affable. But the students should have access to you because they are the ones who put you there. So you should be listening to that. But some of the things that they may demand from you may not be easily achievable, but always be truthful. Tell them the truth. Tell them what you can do. Tell them what you want, what is beyond your limits. Most of the time, the problems we have with leaders and kids, you have no the ideas. Ideas that you yourself know that you cannot meet. This is why sometimes when students go around campaign and they say things and say, just start to laugh. Because there are certain things they are beyond you. No matter how much you can pay and how much you want them to vote for you to see what is important. If you say the truth, it 
always, you know, take you out of very difficult situation. But if you want to control situations and superpower issues, and again, people will get to know your weaknesses, and then they will scrutinize you, and then at the end you will have it very difficult to believe. So always get this friend what you can do, what you cannot do, what is big and beyond your limit. Because there are certain situations, certain things, even our president cannot achieve. If you, as president of this industry, you say you are going to achieve it, I don't know how. So say things that you can achieve and make sure that all the promises, this is very important, all the promises, the top of at least majority of the promises that you make to the students, try and execute them. I think we need to get our work to have a better generation because my nation is the foundation. See, it hurts. It hurts to see them working, working, working just to bring the best in us. I mean, the teachers. They work from class to class, from school to school, from building to building, just to access in our common sense so we can sense the beauty of being educated. But most of them are graduated. The system is for the constructed for their undertaking and they are not important. See, it is unfair. It is unfair when you sit in your office and let you talk less at the end of your work. You receive a salary that when a family of a teacher who has done the office, we will take you back from that person's salary down to this way. He gave you an opportunity before why to solve her dignity in society, quest for her beauty and happiness. They are you too. He gave her opportunity for 25 days just to make you proud of her and You respect her on that night and after that night you see for so many nights with us. He knew everything. Today's world is mysterious. People are no more serious. They become serious if you see her. So we need to be serious on the door and we need to set her. I thank you, Mr. Thank you very much, um, MC. The principal, my father, our father. Mr. Jaro, um, one of the most active head of school, Mr. Song, and staff of Columbia College, um, the former vice president, the 39th Executive Council of the Ghana College Student Senior, unfortunately, they don't keep up the rules. <laughs> Mr. Alan Lamara, um, the ECC chairman, Quite easy to chairman, the chairperson, and his council members, the former EC chairperson and his council members, the legislative council, um, my brothers and sisters of the Ghana College. Good afternoon to you all. It's sad that today. I am giving my final speech as the president of the Gambia College Student Senior. But I'm also happy that today I am giving my final statement as the president of the Gambia College Student Senior, the 40th Executive Council. I just have two words to say that is for the Gambia College students. In March, 2022, I and my council members were entrusted with the Ghana College students to run their affairs for one year. And today, Mark, excellently, one year. We, the 40th Executive Council of the Ghana College Students Union, we are grateful to the spirit of Gandhi College for giving us the mantle of leadership. The principal made mention of this. It's time Gandhi College students to take GCSE as their own. My concern has tried and we will continue to try by supporting the incoming executive to ensure that 
Gambia College Students Union will never die. And it will be respected in this country. I always say this any time that we have programs. Gambia College is the model of all our institutions in this country. But again, the students of Gambia College, I repeat again, the students of Gambia College then see the importance of this area. Now is the time. Oh, we will never be there where we are or where we all want to be. This institution has done so much for us as students. More especially I standing here today. This institution made me who I am, both nationally and internationally. And I am grateful to this institution. And the Project Executive Council is grateful to this institution. And we will never relent until this institution regains its chance again. Please, I am appealing. I personally, some of my council members are no more students of the college. And in the next three, four months, I will also say bye bye to this institution. But we will never put another institution on top of this institution. Because this institution is what we have. It's so beautiful you go to office it's high. Like ministers, you had a chat with them. They will be proudly saying, I am a bona fide, I was a bona fide student of the Gambia House. Who are we? And I will give this advice. We think we are in black and white, green and white, blue and white, or plain white. We are nobody in the society. We make the society. We mean of the Gambia College. Make the society. Gambia depends on us. We produce the agriculturists, the educationalists, the health workers. So, who is Gambia without Gambia College? Let us be proud of this institution. And let us do everything it takes to defend this institution. It has it is a long journey for us. A lot has happened. As I always say to the incoming president and his council members, we face a lot. This is a trying moment for the country itself, talk less of Gambia College as an institution. But the incoming president, you must tighten your belt. Those that vote you in office, that voted you in office will never stand by you in that office. But you have to stand by them to succeed. I don't know whether you remember, you understand that statement. Those that voted you in office will never stand by you to succeed as an institution or as an action. But you must stand by them to succeed as a country. The support of you is in it. What you, the only thing that you need to put at the back of your mind is you are no one.
the Forty-First Executive Council of the Gambia Palestrina Union do swear that I will faithfully, impartially, and to be honest, to do my job to the best of my ability. And, and I executive my function according to the Constitution. So help me Allah. Order of security. I, Sana F. Piyade, having been elected as a member of the 41st Executive Council, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal any matter as may be committed to the secrecy of the union. As may be committed to the secrecy of the union. So help me Allah. Thank you all. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we can take back our seats. This is my alibi from the media team. Yeah, I am Yahya Bali, the outgoing information minister of the Gambian Presidents Union. Yeah, so Yahya Bali, what improvement did you guys see here to the Gambian Presidents Union? Well, uh, there are so many improvements that we have made, and as well as there are shortcomings in the Nasmoda's the struggles to vindicate this British concern. One of the greatest achievements we did was the timely release of students' grades. And then the other one is uh, the formation of one executive member, uh, a council rather, at the Gambia College Pacific Campus Annex. Also, we, we uh, participated in the Voice of the Youth Season 3, in which the Gambia College uh, participants emerged victorious in among the uh, all tasters, uh, all the cultural institutions, uh, institutions in the Gambia. So these are some of the achievements that we are registered and a lot of lot more of achievements that we are registered uh, by the Funded Executive Council of the Gambia College Students Union. So, Mr. Ayabaji, so we all know that serving public is not easy. So what are the challenges that you guys face here? The challenges we face were numerous. One is, uh, first of all, we find it very difficult for, to meet with the stakeholders. That is the president. It was uh, one of our challenges to meet the president. But fortunately for us, uh, our executive members were able to meet the president of Nigeria at a trip that they went to witness a conference. So that one was a very, very difficult task for us to meet the president of the state. That is President Adam Amaro. But and also we find it very difficult to uh, mobilize the students for mobilize the students when programs are called, when companies are also called. Students find it very difficult to show up to programs. Yeah. So basically these are some of the, the, the challenges that we, we, we face as, as a country. Okay, yes, we still receive complaints from the state and they are saying that they don't know how much money do the main union have in their account. Yes. Well uh them knowing the money that was found or that is in the account of the main union is for them to appear on Congress. But unfortunately, students fail to appear for the Congress. But nonetheless, we send uh, the financial report viral, that is on pages, so students, students can get access to it and also know the financial dealings of the, of the executive, the achievements and then the, the shortcomings of the executive. But basically, the financial report has been sent to across the pages, three days as in the condition for the students to go over it. So now, what, now, what, do, you, what, what do you have to say about the students? Well, uh, one thing I have to tell uh, uh, the minute I have for the students is let them take the union as their own. Uh, take ownership of the union. It's very important and important for students to show up whenever programs are called. Because a union cannot work without them. We also, as a union, we cannot also work without the students. So it is also a cordial relationship that needs to exist between the students and the executive in order for us to fulfill this field of development for our modern institution. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, I am Deva Bale, the outgoing education minister. Yeah, so Deva Bale, so what are the improvements that you guys have done? Yeah, there are a lot of improvements that we achieved last time when we come into power. You know, we made that one thing our account was not up to the strong. Yeah. But looking at now our account, we have generated twice of what we have you know, met in the account. That's one achievement last time. And the second thing is, the achievement we have met 
you know, the, the Gambia College has won a competition. That's the inter-school inter 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 competition. Where we emerged the winners. And that's the, out of 4,000 season, the University of Gambia, uh, GDI and, and, and MDI, Gambia was able to win. So it's an achievement. That's the, okay. Sir, in your company, we heard that you were a promising student about both issues and enough class and tears. And yes, still, the students are complaining about enough tears and courses. What do you say about it? Yeah, you know, these are certain things that, you know, we could not achieve. It was in our plan. But remember also, you know, we have to work by our plans. Yeah. That's we have tried a lot to, in order to achieve uh, courses. We wrote to institutions. We wrote to president, president office. We wrote to many um, NGOs, but still we don't have those bosses. Now, and now you, you, you mentioned that you have brought so many letters to institutions. Can you name those institutions for us and those NGOs? Yeah, we wrote to the president office. Yeah. And the with the promise that when bosses come, they will give us bosses, maybe four bosses or two bosses. Understand? And we wrote to the higher education. They also they promise that when there is fun, they will support. We wrote to MRC Holland, which they say that's not part of their AOR. You know, the, the AOR is to sponsor uh, uh, classes and to sponsor people to the University of the Gambia. So these are certain things that we have tried. And we also know the, uh, the admin, them to support us bosses, but they say there is no fun, understand? And looking at the Gambia College Students Union, we don't have the fund to buy a bus. It costs millions of dollars. Which union at is less than 200,000. That's so as a student union, we only rely on the student Jews that students are paying. If that Jews are not paid, automatically we don't have fun to pay. So only we depend on donors. And it's not, it's not, uh, those are not certain. It's temporary. You can have, you may not have. Okay. Now, so how many students do you have in the Gambia here? Uh, the exact number of students probably is about 10,000 students in Gambia we have. It's of RN, School of Public Health, and by School of Education, School of uh, public, public Health, Agriculture. If we estimate all, the, approximately about 10,000 students we have as a Gambia College. Now, obviously, right now, MRC Holland, upstairs, the building is shaking. And yes, the students are having class there. Is that safe? But it, automatically, it is not safe. But we also like a complaint to the, uh, to the admin. And the admin is aware of uh, that, that issue that is happening at the MRC Holland last time. But remember, um, uh, Gambia College, we are sometimes sort of of classes, understand? So this sort of classes, that's why uh, people are using those classes, because university also are using the Gambia College space. So there is no other space apart from those classes. So if Gambia want to avoid that place, where are they going to have classes? So we have to manage with that space until we have other buildings. Okay, now, Mr. Demba Bale, thank you so much for your wonderful time. This is Ismail Abari, Good afternoon. Yes. I am Ismail Abari, part of the journalist three. Okay. Yeah, in the media team. So, what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Sidiya Suso. Yeah, I'm a student of the Gambia College, an education student, yeah. and also a final year student. Oh, so, what program are you doing right now in the Gambia College? Um, I am doing advanced diploma secondary in education. Yeah. I'm specializing in English language and SES. And SES. Yeah. So what are the what are the difficulties that the Gambia College students are facing right now? Um, when it comes to some of the problems the Gambia College students are facing, um, there is no new problem in the Gambia College. Rather, there are problems that still so, uh, people are yet to find solutions to them. Um, among them was before was um, class issue, but we can see Bajon Koto and MRC Holland is provided. Yeah. And from there, when you talk about math issue, um, which I blame both the students and the um, lecturers at times, because there are some lecturers who have no idea about um, ITC, you find it very difficult to, to, to upload students' math. And in the side of the students, there are problems. Many students will not come to college unless if it is time for assessment and exam um, time. So some lecturers do mark um, attendance also. So for some for that student, uh, those type of students to have um, their math intact is always very difficult. This is why I said in order in order for you to be free from um, math issue problem in the Gambia College, you need to come to school every day in for the attendance and 
class works are being taken in order for you to have your mask. Yeah, thank you so much for that. So, so Mr. Suzo, yeah. so what are, what do you think? What are the ways that the government or that the executive or the principal will take to solve all this problem here? Really? Um, I think the principal has done what he's supposed to do. That is to employ lecturers to, to, to come and lecture. Now, what I would say is, what can the head of schools do? Because the principals have um, subordinates who help him in his work. That is the head of school. Um, the head of schools have to try to make sure that anybody they are going to hire to come and lecture here, let the person be competent and the person to be ready to um, deliver to expectation. That not only this, that is, if a deadline is given for all lecturers to submit their mass, you must submit. Yes, if that measures are taken, we I am 100% sure they are going to stop. Okay, now, what do you think that you see about what part you have here in the Um, Yava is an exceptional leader. I think, in fact, it's because of Yava. Um, I came here as a student, one, and secondly, also, I came here because of um, Yava. She is just a giant leader who have possessed all qualities of a leader, despite she is a female. Um, people term leaders, if she, um, one is a female, you are termed not to, to, to deliver. But when it comes to Yafa, she's an exceptional. No, okay. Uh, yeah. no, okay. We now have spread rumors here, the students are here complaining about the dormitory issue. So what do you say about it? Um, with regards to the dormitory, I don't think any executive member should be blamed. Neither the Ministry of Higher Education, Research and, and Technology, Phil Gomez, all the students of the Gambia College students should eye on to him because he gave an order and he is the highest authority. All the schools are under him. If he gives an order, um, I believe only negotiation, but there is no executive who can use his power within here. Even the principal, I said, even the principal cannot revoke that order except the minister. And what I think the minister should do, the minister should come right now to the aid of the student to make sure to come and help students. Because we have many um, students in this um, college here who are from different areas within the country. And people who are far away from here, especially Region 4, Region 5, we know Region 5, um, they allocate bachelor students for Region 5. But some are here and they have no place to stay rather than the dormitory. Now, if the dormitory is um, closed, where are they going to stay? And they need to come to college. Uh, all right. Thank you, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. Thank you for your time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is Ismail Abad. Good afternoon. I am Ismail Abad from the media team. Yes. Good afternoon, Mr. Ismail. How are you doing? Yeah. So, Mr. Slema. Yes. So, you know that you are in the, uh, the incoming uh, education minister. Yes. So, what, is, what do you have for the government today? Yes. Okay. Well, um, as I told you recently, I am Slema Nkoli. And the, current ex um, and the current education minister of the Gamma College Student Union. They have, what I have this student to post is, first off, there are problems with the support of my team, particularly on the issues that they face in the Gamma College. So now, can you please tell us what are the problems of the Gamma College students are facing here? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Mainly, certain problems that they face, I will list, let's say, one, which is the main issue, that is the grading system. Yeah. Yes, that is the main headache. In fact, it's the, it's the main headache. And after we have what you call as the internet issue. So, so now, yes. how can you solve the grading uh, system here in the Gambia College? Okay, to solve the grading system, like, it's not something that, that, um, that is very, very hectic. Yeah. And also, I and my team can say that we can solve everything when it comes to grade, or to solve it, or to eradicate it in this institution. But purposely, we are going to remedy this situation. Remedy it in what, in what aspect? What, uh, what, what are we going to do? We'll first try to communicate the, um, the admin, for them to employ an independent person who will be responsible for supervising all lecturers to be sending their grades. If anyone did not send his or her grade, therefore, that individual will not have his or her allowances at the end of exams. That's now, it. so, Mr. Slema, yes. So, can you please name few of your agendas for us here? Few of my agendas? Yes. Okay, for now, um, like, um, hence, today is our first day to be, to be um, in office. Yeah. Um, we don't have, or I don't have any agendas yet, but I have to come on board, discuss with my team, then therefore finalize with everything that I have, then, um, then come with it. But right now, I'm not done with my agendas yet. So right now, you see if people of the Gambia College are here, suffering, lack of class, lack of care. So what do you say about it? Yeah, for that one, um, it's about this educational matters, like students are suffering from, um, like class size, she has also, but as we see recently, 
where we usually have, have our clients, that is the um, MRC board, if he's having a problem, you see the MRC um, Holland's classes, they're all having problems. I believe you have seen that the, um, the buildings are cut. You see, now that is the reason why students are suffering from this um, lack of classes. We also have a lack of seats. But we believe that when the, uh, when the construct um, when the contractors come, they will try and work on that so that we can extend the classes and they have produced most years for students' so, community. What steps are you going to take so that because we all know that MRC Hana is safe, uh, it is yes. not safe for students to be there. Yes. So what steps are you going to do so that we have enough classroom, enough chairs? Yes, okay. As of now, hence um, the admin have already spoken with MRC Hana and the MRC Hana also have already spoken with um with these people how to call it uh, with the contractors you understand so therefore now we are waiting for them the contractors give a specific date that they will be coming in the government college to come and check in these classes so we spoke with admin they said that let us maintain for now let us keep on managing these classes because this issue you know it just it just come like that unexpectedly and we have and the amazon have already spoken with the contractors already now they are giving a specific date that they will come and start the work but as of now we are we are managing with uh we don't have us now so because there's no okay, because yeah. there's no extension as you know, right now we are in the hall. Yes. There are a lot of NFTs here. Yes. But when we start for lessing, students find it very hard to find out tears. What do you say about it? Yes, you know. Yes, thank you very much for that question. You know, um, program programs is quite different from normal classes. Yeah. This year that you see here, they are mainly for programs. And the other tiers that we um and the other tiers that we use, they are mainly for classes because students cannot be cannot be uh, different stages. Because sometimes like, when they are complaining, they always say that um there are chairs, you know, that they can instead. If there is program, they bring those chairs out. You understand? If there is no program, they will keep those chairs there in, and students will be suffering going out, help us get back, so we don't need for chairs. But specifically, these chairs that you are seeing here, they are meant for programs, only programs. If they have programs, we remove them. If they don't have programs, uh, programs, we keep them inside. You understand? So the chairs for us to learn, that is, um, it is also lacking. Chairs are also lacking, because what I have done is the students are in fact more than the chairs that we have. So there, when I swung today into office, I will have a meeting with my executive and the um, and the admin. Then we see how best they can try and provide. So, as an education minister, do you know how much how many students we have in the government policy? Yes, currently we have 15,000 15, students in all the possible schools. Yeah. Yes. So right now, we just went to RA. And students are there complaining and saying, say, saying that they don't have enough classrooms. And the university students are there using their classrooms. Good, thank you very much. That one, um, we have to meet, uh, we have to meet together as an admin. And therefore, I also have to see my president because we have this um we have this conversation understanding about some of these university students. Those are the ones studying uh, medical sciences, using their um uh, their classes and their dormitories as well. You understand? So this issue it has to be removed. Those people they don't belong to the Gambia College, but they belong to the University of the Gambia. So therefore, we have a strong meeting, and whereby we, will, for me, in my own opinion, I want all of them to vacate there and to go to the university so that the college students can have space in their dormitories. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Slema. Yes, thank you very much. This is my everybody from the media team. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Ms. Mela. I am Sophia Tijalo, a student from the Gambia College. So, Sophia Tijalo, what are your majors in the Gambia College? I am majoring in home science and SES. So, which year are you in the college? I am in year two, my second year. So, what achievement did this outgoing executive did here in the Gambia College? Uh, they did so many things because at first when we came to the Gambia College, what we met here and when they went into power, what, what is going on right now is quite different. So I think they Thank made you. a lot of improvement. Uh, please, I need silence. All right. So what are the challenges that currently the Gambia College students are facing? Can you please tell us about it? Uh, to me, they started a work that they didn't finish. So only that thing is a challenge. Good afternoon, I'm Ismail Bari for the media team. Um, I'm Edward, Edward Sarko, a student of the Gambia College School of Education. So, Mr. Edward, what are your majors in the Gambia College and which year are you at? My uh, majors at the Gambia College here are English language and physical and health education. I'm a second year student. Because as you know right now, we are currently in the main hall. They are handing over the position. What achievement did the urban executive this year? Uh, personally, I think um, the current executive has achieved a lot in terms of fighting for missing grades, and um, they have also achieved, they have been advocating for the rights of the students at all points in time. Um, however, I have always said that uh, we do not expect any perfect um, um, leader in the world, but then um, in as much as they try, 
there's still room for improvement. So personally, I give them the, the credit um, for, for their, their selfless commitment towards the, the, the rights of the students.